Hey, Four Mighty fans! I wanted to demonstrate something here. There, uh, there's a common misunderstanding about charging and chargers and how charging works. And and one concern that a lot of people have is that if you use a charger that's not like like a, a Jeep charger, you know, if you're using something else other than a Jeep charger, that you might push too much current into the uh into the vehicle and that's not how charging works uh first of all this is not a charger this is called an electric vehicle service equipment evse this is a, a honda branded emporia charger that we got uh, for my wife's honda prologue and it is capable of 40 amp 48 amp charging in fact i've got it pulled up here in my app and you can see it is set to 48 amps now, the 4xe is limited to 32 amps. And by the way, the charger is back here in the uh, IDCM that's back in here, the integrated dual charging module. And, uh, but it is rated at 32 amps. And I can show you that even though this charger is set to 48 amps, it's got like this slider that you can change it. And um, even if you've got it set to 48 amps, I can show you that it's only charging at 32 amps. So if you take 7.46, that's kilowatts, that's 7,460 kilowatts. So if you take your calculator and you go 7,460 watts divided by 240 volts, you get 31.0 amps. So it is, it is, you're not going to overcharge this thing because the chargers don't push current, or the EVSE, I should say. All the EVSE does is make voltage available. It just makes power available to the vehicle. The vehicle determines how much it's going to pull. And so I just wanted to kind of put that to rest for anybody that is um, kind of concerned about that. You can never like push too much power because the vehicle pulls, the EVSE does not push. Hope that uh, answers some questions. Thanks for watching.